Related note, a Colorado heart specialist says there are three conditions that she believes could be linked to Hamlin's critical injury. KRDO News Channel 13 Scott Harrison spoke with that medical expert about uh, what could have happened yesterday. Scott is live at UC Health Memorial Central in Colorado Springs. Yeah, Bart, earlier today I spoke with the director of UC Health's Department of, get this, electrophysiology at the University of Colorado that studies how the heart works electrically. She says there's risk in everything that we do and she hopes that last night's medical incident with Damar Hamlin won't discourage parents from letting their kids play sports. Dr. Wendy Zo says that Damar Hamlin briefly standing back up for a few seconds before collapsing with cardiac arrest after making a tackle suggests that a blow to the chest wasn't the sole cause. She says that there are conditions that can cause cardiac arrest while athletes are exerting themselves. And it may even be in the midst of peak activity or it could be recovery from exertion, but kind of the elevated adrenaline in that setting, the increased work of the heart in that setting. Dr. Zoe says that those conditions often are difficult or impossible to screen for and may not manifest themselves until they actually happen. But she says that unless your child is a world-class college scholarship level or professional athlete, it isn't realistic to overtest them for protection. And, and we've seen not just in this athlete, but a number of athletes throughout the decade, you know, who, who have like passed all those screening parameters, but still have had, you know, this terrible event occur. Um, so I, I think we're doing our best. Dr. Zo says parents can ensure that when playing team sports, their kids have the proper equipment and training to at least reduce the possibility of a serious injury or health issue. And Dr. Zo also says that getting medical care to someone in cardiac arrest within four minutes, just four minutes, makes all the difference in recovery. And fortunately, that happened last night for that football player. We are live in Colorado Springs. Scott Harrison, KRDO, News Channel 13.